Sawadee Kap and welcome to Thailand News Today. Please subscribe to the channel and even uh, set up the alerts so that you'll get a ping when we put out a new program. We try and put it out around about 5 p.m. every day, or well, weekdays anyway. Uh, that's Thai time, and we do this five days a week. Plenty of news around today for the stuff that we miss, or if you want more details, you can always go to thetiger.com. But let's start today's news. Well, some good news at last. With only 38 new cases announced today and one more death, uh, certainly a lowering of the number of new cases in Thailand. The cumulative death toll for Thailand now stands at 27. The 38 new infections appear to show a declining trend from the 51 cases reported yesterday and the 102 logged on Sunday. But officials warn there is no way to know the actual number of cases and how quickly the virus is spreading because, as is in the case worldwide, very few people in Thailand have been tested. Of the 38 new cases, 17 were in close contact with previous patients. 11 of them were in Bangkok and contracted the disease from family members, colleagues or friends. Seven new patients worked in crowded areas or closely with foreigners. There were three in Phuket, two in Bangkok and one each in Chonburi and Krabi provinces. Other new cases included three health workers, three visitors to crowded places and three Thais who returned from overseas. A village headman in Suratani has been arrested after allegedly shooting and killing a monk and his assistant. The incident happened at the Khao Pela Monastery. Police arrived at the scene at 2am where they found a pickup loaded with torches, fuel and coconut husks. A 48-year-old man was lying dead on the back of the vehicle with a gunshot wound to his neck. Ten metres away was the dead body of a 49-year-old monk lying on the ground. He had two gunshot wounds, one in the back of his head and the other in his chest. A .32 handgun was found near his body. The 55-year-old headman of a village in Tambon Samutong was waiting for the authorities and surrendered himself. Police are continuing the investigation. A bit further south and the Indonesian archipelago has announced its highest number of new cases. There's also been a concerning rise in the deaths of doctors and health workers at the front line of the national fight against the disease. Statistics have doubled in the last week. The 209 confirmed deaths is the highest death rate and number of fatalities in Asia outside of China. A spokesperson for the Indonesian Doctors Association also confirmed that 24 Indonesian doctors have now died from COVID-19, causing regional medical authorities to fear that the real rate of COVID-19 infections in Indonesia is much higher than reported. Well, you know those sterilising tunnels you've seen popping up all over the place? We're now told that they're not safe at all. Thailand's Food and Drug Administration Deputy Secretary General says they are harmful to the skin and exposure to the radiation or chemicals may even cause cancer. He said that most of the antiseptics used in the spray tunnels are those allowed for sterilising surfaces of various materials, but not for human skin. And Bangkok's Don Mueang International Airport is turning the COVID-19 crisis into an opportunity for a bit of a long-awaited makeover. The coronavirus outbreak has forced the suspension of domestic and international flights, grinding air traffic into and out of Don Mueang Airport to a complete halt. So the airport's pushing ahead with a refurb, costing 126 million baht. There are three projects, a 99 million baht improvement of the air conditioning system, a re-carpeting of most of the terminal priced at 18 million baht and a 9 million baht switch to LED lighting to save energy. Don Muang is the country's second busiest airport after Sawanapum. A plan is also ready to expand the airport served mostly by budget carriers. Well, that's the news for this Tuesday. Thank you very much for joining us. Don't forget to subscribe. I think you can do that down here somewhere. And we appreciate you watching each day. Indeed, we'll be back again tomorrow around about the same time.